Because she'd maintained a stoic determination to prevail and live, Lauren never offered a genuine farewell, a final accounting of her love. And when the end came, it came quickly. Eternity doesn't negotiate. Our children were devastated, but not broken. From the first, they'd been raised to be strong, resolute, and forward-looking. Understanding, perhaps instinctively, from early on, that their parents would eventually leave them. For me, there was no such understanding. In order to appreciate the great clusterfuck road trip of my 61st year, one must first grasp its foundational origins. First off, I don't like being alone. We had a few fun dates, drank a lot of martinis. I did more listening than talking. A lot more. Look at that ass. Wow. You wouldn't believe the horrible things he said about me. Behind my back. I'm not interrupting anything. Yeah, just gonna die. Yeah, now I'm gonna oh, go fuck yourself. You're a fucking asshole. I wanna kill. Just fucking. I swear we're gonna fade away. After that, do it, do it. Just sat away, just sat away. Oh, till the children just sat away. Wish me luck. Don't embarrass me. Allow me to compliment you. On what? On your lovely Argyle sweater. I also wear Argyle, though with less ostentation. This is ostentatious. Fear not, we're in Princeton. Ostentation is de rigueur. You're not exactly normal, are you? I'm sweeping down the bare street today. Pseudical, can you hold, please? You guys are pharmaceutical, can you hold, please? Thank you for holding. How may I direct your call? She's not in yet. Uh, would you like to leave a message? Your future wife says who? Said you about a hundred fucking oh, times. No, I didn't even get her number. There. How did you get this? I have actual friends. You threw me down on the bed. You put your wiener up inside me. What? You didn't even ask. Still alive? You a boss? You want for real this time?